Mike Krzyzewski today at shoot He kind of balked at the notion that it was a sloppy game as Wendell Moore Jr. gets to. And now look, they become national champs because that backcourt was special last year. Poked away. Two on one for the Blue Devils. Up and down. Cassius Stanley. Wendell Moore back into the game and a steal of the inbound. Score it. Wendell Moore. Chance for a three point play. The defense. This is just a really nice play by Jack White. Steps right in front of Nathan Bain and then Moore. An acrobatic move on the inside. Well, not this this young shot clock down to six. First time we've mentioned shot clock here in the first half. More what a pass. Good pass a beauty. Goldwater. Triple team. Someone's open. Wendell Moore trying to take advantage. Wide open three for Goldwire, and he knocks it down. Wendell Moore fading away. The bank open here in Blacksburg, and the freshman cashes Only in. Only the ATM machine. Got to try to get Vernon Carey involved in a ball screen situation here. The giveaway, and here comes Wendell Moore Jr. And as he's driving down there, you got to know that Wendell Moore is always looking to play the passing lanes, and wow. He still dunks it just like he did when he was playing for CP3 in high school. It's really been the story in this game for Wofford. Missed opportunities at the rim. They've not been able to make their wide open three point shots either. Here goes Stanley. With the hammer! Moore, tough shot. Able to get the roll grown into the role that they're in. That's a pretty good baseline out of bounds coming out of a timeout. There's a reason why I shut up. Get let alone a lob dunk. It's because of bad defense. It's just creature comforts we're used to. Creature comforts. I mean, how about just... Too easy. Wendell Moore now with eight points after the slam dunk that makes it 73-48. Harry Jr., great job with keeping his eyes up. Wardenberg's had a heck of a first half, misses that three. Duke's turned the ball over seven times in this first half. What a pass. And That's just finished beautiful. by Perry. Wendell Moore with the assist. That is just beautiful. Got seven points and seven or eight rebounds. I mean, he's a couple of plays away from a triple-double in this game. Has been bothered by... Look like a Whoa! Rejected by Moore. Shooting in their decision-making. That's a heck of a block by Wendell Moore. Gets it to Jones. Tough shot, but nobody turned to block out Wendell Moore, and there's no question that got off before the buzzer. What an amazing finish, not only to regulation, but overtime with Trey Jones both at the end of regulation, at the end of overtime, at the free throw line. Just remarkable. Just think about the eight years I played against Duke. I never saw more than seven. We didn't even have more than seven on our scouting report. They've got ten guys in. White looking inside, gives up the dribble. And right now, Wake going to try to post. Mucius in the middle with Duke playing smaller. Moore on the attack, and that's going to roll in, and he'll be at the line. Moore went 0 for 5 on Saturday. He was the one guy for Duke they didn't get much out of and has struggled thus far on this one, but that's the type of play that can get him going. On a run out, Brown. And great defense by the Blue Devils. They got back quickly. Yeah, Robinson, who missed the shot, getting back and blocking the shot on the other end of the floor. And now an opportunity to finish it off. More than Brandon Childers trying to run Childers off some screens, give him opportunity to try to get some looks. Danny Manning knows how important it is to be able to get him going. Stanley looking for the quick strike and one as well. And a block out of the sky by Robinson. What a series that was. Jones feeding ahead for Moore. And banks that one up and in and takes the hit, too. So athletic, so explosive. Uh, now he needs some help. Shot clock at five. And Del Moore bails him out. He'll take it to the bucket. A finger roll off the backboard is good. Just barely beat the timer.